to another one of my yoga flow tutorials. So today's tutorial is going to be all about opening through the chest, through the heart and the shoulders. It's been Valentine's Day this week and I'm feeling really full of love. I'm feeling like super happy and super like lifted in my heart and I really wanted to be able to bring that to you throughout this flow. So. Before I get started, I just want to say, as always, just take it easy, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you. And then if you have a bolster, like this one, um, with you, then please grab it. Or you could always grab a couple of blocks or some cushions, um, because this is how we're going to start and end our practice today. So um, pause me if you need to go and grab some equipment. If not, let's all come down to our mat. So lying the bolster long ways across the mat. I'm gonna open out through the hips, so soles of the feet together, sitting just in front of the bolster, and then just slowly lower the body down onto the bolster. For me, this immediately feels good. Hopefully it does for you as well. Obviously you can pick the heights if you're not using a bolster. You might just want some cushions underneath the shoulders to give you a little bit of lift. Option with the hands, you can bring them to the belly and feel the belly rise and fall. Or to deepen the stretch across the chest, we can bring the arms out into a T-shape. So whichever one feels good for you. And just while we all get a little bit comfortable, start to feel centered, I just want you to bring the mind, the focus onto the breath. Just slowly and softly breathing into the tummy. Letting everything relax. And then let's take a moment to scan the body. So maybe starting with the feet and working our way up. Just feel everything start to soften. Feel the hips and the pelvis and the bottom melt down into the mat. Feel the chest lift and maybe there's a little bit of pulling somewhere, really starting to feel that stretch and that's okay. I want us to notice these feelings, accept them and work with them. So let's just take some silence and some stillness here. more breaths. And then slowly taking the hands to the outside of the knees, drawing the knees in, and then just taking hold behind the knees and just using that to draw the body up really slowly though. We don't want to make any fast movements when we're working with the spine. Okay, so just coming to a cross leg position, just move the bolster out the way or any blocks or anything you had. And we'll just take five shoulder rolls back. Three, four, five, and five forwards. One, Two, three, four, five. Nice. And then we're going to walk the right hand around to the back. Place the left hand on the outside of that leg. This will help you lift and twist. Breathing here. And come back around to centre. 
Coming around to the left this time. Place that right hand on the outside of the left leg. Inhale to lift, prepare. And exhale, take that twist. Gazing towards the back. One more breath. And release round to the front. Okay, so we're going to bring the arms around like you're... A lot of people say hugging a beach ball. I like to go for a big teddy bear. <laughs> so, hug that big, huge teddy bear. Maybe rest your forehead on his belly or something. <laughs> this imagery really works for me. And just feel that as you breathe, the breath expands through the upper back. One more breath. Come to neutral. Place the hands behind you this time. And then inhale the chest open and upwards. Close off the eyes here and smile. Like really cheesy, give me teeth. And breathe, come back to centre. Really nice. So we're going to work on just loosening our spine. So come on over the knees to an all fours position. So rather than work just through a simple cat and cow, we're going to try and use the spine in like a wave motion. So going forwards and backwards, but while still working with that cat and that cow. So we come forwards and we're up. And then exhale back. We come over. And back. Lift the chest and the head. And then curl the spine as you come forwards. As we go back, we send the bottom high. And then lift that spine as you come forward. So just working with this wave motion, bending through those elbows as you come back with the chest lifted. One more. Really, really nice. And then we'll go round to the sides. So coming round in circles, all the way down low to the mat, out to the side. So we'll take three going over to the right. And then we'll take three going around to the left. Making sure you really send the body out as far as it will go. Getting that really nice deep stretch as you breathe. Nice. Really good. Okay, so just snaking forwards now into Sphinx. So our body, our lower body's on the on the mat. We're lifting the chest and we've got the forearms down on the mat. And as we breathe, we're just going to open through the shoulders. Keep that head up, keep that chest up, heart shining forwards. Two more deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Taking that left hand into the center just to give you a little bit more balance. And open out through the right, gazing towards the back of the room. Maybe looking to that right hand. And bringing it back to the front. Take it on the other side, so left arm comes out. Breathing into a Ujjayi breath. And place it back down. Lower everything down to the mat. Forehead comes down to the mat. Arms come down beside you, and I just want you to wiggle the hips side to side. Loosening out through the lower back. And then let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders. So we're going to inhale up to a high cobra and exhale back down. Again, working with that waving motion. So the head comes up last and then it will come back down. So inhale, lift up. Try and keep those elbows tucked in. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Really, really nice. And then tuck under the toes and just send the bottom all the way back and coming into our melting heart posture. So let those hands slide forward on the mat and let the heart melt down bringing the armpits down towards the floor let everything stretch out here you want to have the bottom nice and high sending it up to the sky for those of you with a bit more space in the shoulders you could come up to the fingertips to allow a bit more room to drop down and then slowly just bring the body back to child's pose. Let the head rest. And then roll the body up slowly to a kneeling position. Nice. Okay, so from here, from our kneeling position, we're just going to take those same twists that we did at the beginning, loosening out. So we'll come round to the right, but this time we're kneeling. And we look behind and we breathe through the twist and the openness in the chest. Exhale it back round to the front, come to the other side, inhale open. And exhale. Really good. Okay, so coming up now into a downward facing dog. Let's place our hands down, set our foundations, fingers really nicely spread apart. And we send that bottom high up into the sky. Take a moment just to pedal out through the feet. Maybe take a little shake of the head, a nod of the head, maybe a little wiggle in the hips just loosening out everywhere and then what we're going to do we're going to work here how we did in the uh, tabletop position into the in the all fours position even even so we're going to wave our body forward so inhale come forward and then bend those knees exhale put the bottom up high so working through the this spine inhale forwards Exhale, take the bottom high. Really slowly inhale forwards. Exhale, send it back. Two more, inhaling forwards. Exhaling, bending through those knees and then straighten them at the end. Inhale forwards. And exhale, coming back. Really nice. Breathing here, two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then on the next inhale, we're going to step forward with that right foot, put the left knee down, and then lift the chest up. If you've got blocks and you'd like to have the blocks either side of you for a bit of support, that's absolutely fine. For those of you feeling ready, just maybe place the hands on the front knee and let the hips sink forwards. And then from here we're going to inhale the arms up and exhale, bringing them out to this cactus position so we're all nice and open in the chest. And then sink forwards a little bit more and lift the chest a little bit more. Remember to breathe. I know this one can be quite challenging. And then inhale. Place the hands down, really good. Step back to a high plank. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. And then step forward this time with the left. Again, same options apply. You could have your blocks either side of you or just place the hands on the front knee, on the left knee. And breathe here. 
And then on an inhale, we'll sweep those arms up. And exhale, bring them out into that cactus again. Sinking a little bit deeper with each breath, but lifting high in the chest, lifting from the lower tummy. One more breath here. And place the hands down. Step it back to the high plank. One breath here. Exhale, lower the knees down. And then really slowly, keeping those elbows tucked in, lower the body all the way down to the mat. And then untuck those toes. Really nice. Okay, just taking a moment here. So forehead on the mat, arms down by the side of you. Taking just one deep breath here. And then we're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. I'm going to inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, bring it back down to the mat. So another one of these. Inhale, draw the shoulders and the chest up. And exhale, back down to the mat. And then this third one, we're going to hold it up there and breathe. Inhale, lift up. Exhaling here, one more breath, inhale, and then exhale, melt the body down. Really good, place the hands underneath the shoulders, push through the hands and just send the bottom back and we'll just come into a wide leg child's pose with the hands forwards. Maybe just like using the fingertips to pull you a little bit further forward to really elongate the spine here. And then slowly drawing the body all the way up. And then we're going to tuck under the toes and just come into a forward fold from here. So just standing at the back of our mat, feet hip width apart. To begin with, just taking hold of opposite elbows, maybe swaying side to side, taking a nice bend in the knees. And then finding a little bit of stillness before we move on. Really just let it go. And then placing the left hand down in front. Still keeping a bend in those knees. We'll inhale and reach that right arm all the way up to the sky. You can bend through the left knee a little bit to reach up even more. Breathing in, really expand through the chest. And release that right hand down. Inhale the left hand up this time. Again, option of now bending that right leg. Breathing up. And then release everything back down. Slowly peel the body all the way up to standing. Head comes last. And from here, just taking the hands to the sacrum, or if you want to, coming into intention mudra with the hands. So we've got the index finger and the thumbs together. And if you'd like to, we're just going to go into some baby back bends. So you can reach up and inhale back like this. I'm going to talk through it with the hands on the lower back. So inhale and we'll lift the chest. So we're drawing everything upwards. And then exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, back to centre. Release. Take a moment. And then let's go one more time. Place those hands on the sacrum. Inhale, lift the chest. 
and exhale, baby back bend. Inhaling, bring it back, and then just fold forward and just shake everything out. Maybe swaying a little bit, maybe rolling the arms. Really nice. So from here, place the hands down. We're going to walk the hands forward into a high plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down through the knees. Keeping the elbows in as we lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest for high cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes. Fly the bottom high, downward facing dog. Breathing here. Inhale, exhale, and then bending those knees all the way down to the mat and coming into a high kneeling position. So coming into a few rounds of camel. So for those of you that have this in your practice, by all means, go ahead with the variation that works best for you. The options are to have the tops of the feet on the mat. Or if you want a little bit more uh, length, then you might want to tuck under the toes. I kid you not, camel toe. Um, so then you've got a little, you haven't got to go down as far. Or if you're not quite ready to reach down to the heels, we can just place the hands on the back again and take those baby back bends. So whichever variation works best for you, we'll inhale everyone to prepare. Exhale, take a back bend, maybe even drop the head back. For those of you in full camel with the hands on the heel, on the heel of the foot, we want you to think about drawing the hips and the pelvis forwards rather than leaning back into it. And then when you come out of it, you want to inhale out and feel like you're sucking the inner thighs together. That's really going to help keep you lifted. So everybody coming out. And then just one more option of your choice. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, find either the heels or just the baby back bend. Remembering to breathe. And then on an inhale, drawing those thighs together. It's quite hard to talk whilst doing that drawing those thighs together, and then just coming down to counter pose it, narrow leg child's pose, the arms come down beside us, forehead comes down to the ground, can maybe rock side to side a little bit. And then take a few moments here. And then when you're ready, slowly peeling the body all the way up to a kneeling position. Take one more round of hugging that big teddy bear. Breathing here. And then one more, placing the hands back, lift the chest and smile. And then come back to that neutral spine. Okay, to finish off, we're going to come back to where we started with that bolster. So placing it down, soles of the feet together, or you could just have the legs out straight if that's more comfortable for you. And just lie yourself back. Again, the option of having the hands on the tummy or the hands out to the sides. I want you to use this relaxation as a time again to scan the body and a time to thank your body and thank yourself for your practice. Maybe even dedicate your practice to someone you love seeing as we have cracked open the heart. And then just let the breath soften and let the body start to sink and melt into the mat.
and then I'll leave you to stay there. So while you're resting, I am going to make my goodbyes. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Also thank you to the wonderful Accessorize team who maybe some of you saw my vlog. I taught a class to them, uh, to some lovely bloggers for them last week in this awesome kit. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you that that is what I'm wearing. I know you guys always ask what I'm wearing, so I'll link to everything below. But these, <laughs> these track suit bottoms are the comfiest things that I basically own, um, and I have been wearing them non-stop ever since. And this really cute floral sports bra is really nice. The materials are really good. So these are kind of like my three favorite items, which I will link to below. Um, it's the launch of the uh, Spirit of Accessorized collection, which is available now, which I will link to below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for another yoga flow soon. Um, yeah, namaste. Goodbye.